What can you say about Polish vodka that hasn't been said before? A lot, apparently. That's why we took a trip to the Polish Vodka Museum in beautiful downtown Praga, just east of the center of Warsaw. At the Polish Vodka Museum, you will get an educational tour of all things vodka, and you will leave much more expert than when you arrived. I'm talking about the history of vodka, not just the taste. I'm sure you already know plenty about that. In this series, we aim to answer the age-old question, is vodka Polish or is it Russian? The answer is forthcoming in this series of episodes from the Polish Vodka Museum. I'm Will Richardson, and thanks for watching Poland Daily Travel. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. We are in the Vodka Museum in beautiful downtown Praga, just east of central Warsaw, with our expert, our dynamic guide, Natasha. <laughs> Natasha, what's your last name? Uh, Skorczak. Skorczak. Mm -hmm. She had to think about that. It was not a test, but she did have to think about it. Okay, exactly. now we're going to uh, look at uh, the definition of the word vodka uh, and some recipes, say, something like the that. The origin of the word vodka. The origin sure. of the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, hit it. Okay, so uh, the point is that vodkas from today and vodkas from the old times, from Middle Ages, like 16th century and so on, mm -hmm. they have totally different meanings, okay, both words. So in Polish, vodka, it's small water because in Polish, water is woda. So this vodka, it could be something to drink, but not with alcohol, okay? Or small lake or something, okay? okay? So the first old Polish vodkas, I mean from 15th, 16th century, those were mostly water distillates made of herbs, spices, and so on, or other ingredients later, uh, with no alcohol inside, mm -hmm. okay? So this is the crucial point mm -hmm. of this speech. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't mean at the same time that in Middle Ages we didn't have uh, an alcohol with the meaning of vodka from today. We had them, we just called them differently, okay? Mm -hmm. So it was, for example, gorzałka, because in Polish, gorzet, it means burning. So people, they were burning, they were distillating, okay? So that's why we use this name. In English, it goes like a booze, for example. The second word, which was in use... Like booze? Was, you mean yeah. like a slang name, okay. Okay, right. and the yeah. second word, which was in use, it was okovita. It comes from Latin words, aqua vita, water of life. Okay. Oh, okay. So we started, Which is what they call whiskey in Scotland. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So we started to use those three names. I mean, vodka, gorzałka, and okowita right. as synonyms uh, in 17th century. Before, those were totally different things with different meanings and different destinations as well. Okay. okay. So the first old Polish vodkas, they were in use for healing. Okay, mm -hmm. they were used to cure people for mm -hmm. any kind of a disease. So mm -hmm. people, they believe that it doesn't matter what problems your health or mental health you had, there is still vodka that can help you, okay? And here on right. these bottles, we've got some, let's say, recipes. Some of them, they are quite disgusting, I've got to warn you at the beginning. So here we've got vodka for fresh about injuries, okay? okay. So we got her Fresh what? what, what uh, vodka for fresh and old injuries. Fresh, new and old injuries, exactly. fresh and wounds. So we got okay. her during the bottle and we've got some problem with skin, so we've got to kill ourselves, okay. Okay? okay? So here we've got to take ingredients, special herbs like sage, yeah. for example. So this herb, it has medical treatment, we'd say. Okay. And we've got to soak it, I mean sage and root, the other herb, in gojauka, so in the alcohol. Okay. And the substance, which was the rest, it was vodka, okay? So uh, we're supposed oh, okay. to drink it every day and every night to heal us. Okay? Ah, it sounds like you forget about your injury anyway. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so here we've got vodka for stones, not stones on the way, okay. stones in our kidneys, for example. Kidney stones, okay. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So this one is disgusting because here people, they were taking the living snails uh -huh. together with their shells, they were mashing them all together with strong vinegar, uh -huh. and they were hitting it all together in the alembic, so in the special vessel made of copper for distillation, okay? So that's why it was uh, right. going, actually. And people, they were gathering different recipes for the ages, okay? Here we've got special books called herbariums. They all come from 16th century. You can take a look because we can open them. And we've got some recipes like vodka for treatment of main maladies. And we've got 
for maladies of the eyes, for the chest, for pains and aches, for liver and drops, spin mending, problems with heart, and many, many, many others. Great, okay? Scott. So uh, drinking a lot of vodka makes you but heals everything. Without alcohol inside. No remember? alcohol. Oh, there's yes. no alcohol yet. Uh, okay. Vodka could restore even the beauty of the face. You really? Know? So they were for everything, for every problem, actually. And they were there's hope for me, folks. <laughs> I'm going to just were use to that. Drink, but yeah. also, as uh, they were used as a cream or an ointment. Okay. okay. And here you will have a you possibility switch places, yeah. Okay, yeah. to prepare your own beverage, your own vodka. Mm -hmm. How it works. We've got different, let's say, ingredients. And it's that wing? Good. Yeah, it's quite That's not good. Are, it's That's quite not good. That sounds nowadays. Chinese to me. No, yeah. <laughs> some of them okay. they look from like from the you know uh, vessel of uh, wizards or something like that or okay you know but okay let's choose four of them we'll mix them all together and we'll see what will happen next. So what Fantastic. do you want to add? Uh, what do I want? I, what do I? Can I pick ingredients? Yes, yes. Four ingredients I can pick. Mm -hmm. I'll take a little bat wing. Okay, so let's put so, it here. Yeah, I can't have Batman. A little maiden's hair. Maiden's hair. I always yeah. put a little yes. maiden's hair in most okay. things that I cook. And the other two? Um, I think of some sage because I could sage. use some wisdom, mm -hmm. which is obvious to all the people mm -hmm. watching our show, okay. and maybe some wild strawberries because I don't. Okay. I don't like For those the tame. Yeah, I okay. don't like the tame strawberries. I like the ones that are a bit wild. Okay, so. Yeah. Be careful, he will test yeah. your product. He okay. has no hands, so we have to help him. Uh huh. He will be happy or not. No, he no he's not happy. But you know, he swallowed and now he says, okay, so it was not yeah. so bad. Yeah. And we always have one explanation, okay, of one okay. ingredient. So, why strawberry vodka was used to cure the sight problem? It was giving a bright eye along with ready loins and easy flow of the urine. So, yeah, I have, I have a, people who often tell me I have ready loins. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what they mean by that. So, already you know. Yeah. And there is a possibility to send you this recipe to your email box. You just have to accept our regulations, of course, mm -hmm. and you can write here down your mail address, prove the bottle sent, and you will already have plans for this evening. Fair, so, oh, yeah. Of yeah, course, yeah. it's up to uh, what, what are you doing this evening? <laughs> Uh, I'm working here. Are you are still? <laughs> Till right, eight o'clock. Yeah. Till, oh, what, ab, what about after eight? We could have some wild strawberries. I'm going back home. You're going back home. Yeah. Okay. No wild strawberries tonight. No. Okay. Not on the way. All right. <laughs> so all right. this is it. Yeah. So okay, I'll fill all this in later. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. folks. There you have it. Uh, my recipe made the monk sick. Sorry to say. Stay tuned for the next edition of Poland Daily Travel from the Vodka Museum with the wonderful Natasha, <laughs> and with me, of course. Hang in there.